Ma'am, gusto ko kayong tanongin, no? nabasa ko yung column niya, yung huling column niya sa Philippine Daily Inquirer. Uh, and then, oh. you decided to put your content po ano, on social media. What happened po ba? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? What, what happened, happened to you what? sa Inquirer? Uh, oh, well, no. they, they, which prompted they you to, to shift to social media? They, they sent me a letter saying that, uh, you know, they were... They were discontinuing my column after two weeks because I I had displayed conflict of interest. Kasi naging board member ako ng Rappler at saka, you know, I was the touting Rappler in my columns. And that was conflict of interest. And, and so they, they and that, that merited my being removed as a columnist. And I was so shocked. Kasi, sabi ko, Diyos ko po naman, board member ako ng Rappler, four years. Ngayon lang nila, ngayon lang nila napupuna yon Tapos, yung, yung, when I first joined Philippine Daily Inquirer, uh, 20 years ago, can you imagine, 20 years ago, I was writing, nagsusulat ako para sa business world. Mm. For the next 10 years, I was writing for Business World and writing for for Daily Inquirer. So so I was writing for a kasi competing news organization daw yon. So but but then they did not do anything to me and then now all of a sudden we dropped they said conflict in other of words, interest. Is, uh, walang walang visa yung kanilang excuse. They I mean that was such a f- horrible excuse. I said, you know, I can at least have the courtesy of some frankness. So I, so I'm up to now. The story of is the story is pinalis ako kasi uh, naging board member ako ng Doppler. Mm, and that's very unfortunate, no? Right. Oh, po. No, eh, well, that's all right. Uh, oh, po. Oh, I'm sure. Kasi naman, <laughs> ano na kayo? Kumbaga, you can go to any other platform that you choose. Yun nga yung maganda, lumipat kayo sa social media, no? Actually, inabutan ko po kayo, eh. Nung no? nasa Inquirer pa ako, kasi I spent uh, 15 years there. Eh, nun palang columnist na kayo, oh. binabasa ko na kayo, eh. Pero dito, yung, yung reason na binigay sa inyo na conflict of interest, uh, sabi nyo, it was a horrible excuse, no? Pero, ito, no, parang really? usapan lang. Do, do you think na, ano, someone really wanted you out? Or was it because of your columns that were critical? Uh, well, to I, the Marcoses I, I, I or Duterte. Ang sama ng loob ko, ni hindi ako, you know, parang parang basura ako na, you know, you have big snows. And that's it. And that's what I, I I did not like. I did not like, I did not like the logic of their, of, you know, the reasoning they used because I said, uh, it does not apply to me because this is my 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 being uh, a member of the board is four years old na. And when I first entered na inquirer, for 10 years, I was working two this newspapers at the same time. Mm-hmm. So how can mm-hmm. that possibly be an excuse? Mm-hmm. Can you think okay. of, I mean, can, can you tell me, Christian? Uh, what you your, your intelligent guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Alam naman natin na marami nangyayari behind the scenes, no? Uh, yeah, I've experienced yeah, that I, also. Alam po natin yan. Uh-oh. But you did not, you did not leave Inquirer like no. that. No. Hindi, hindi. Uh, I left because okay. ANC got me. Ang, ang, ang experience ko the related dun sa experience nyo, yung experience ko sa ABS-CBN because I was unceremoniously fired. By <laughs> Carlo Katek back there. Oh, huh? Ano, what you mean by unceremony? Describe unceremony. Ah, paano ba? <laughs> Ako na interview ni Maring Wino, magaling talaga si Maring Wino. No? <laughs> let's just say ganito. I, let's just say I signed a contract now. Less than three, less than a week later, I was uh, given my you know, walking paper. Uh, for example, sinabi sa akin ngayon Hindi, kanwari sinabi sa akin ngayon uh, I-discontinue yung program mo Sabi ko, kailan effective immediately? Tonight 
I mean, wow. what kind what kind of firing is that, di ba? Hindi ka man lang binigyan yeah. ng, oh, siguro in the next two days or two episodes, pwede pa. Immediate, effective immediately. So, ganun yun. <laughs> Ako na, interview ni Maring Winnie, ha? <laughs> Salamat sa PDI kasi two weeks binigyan sa <laughs> <laughs> oh, mas maganda din sa inyo. <laughs> no, but, but did you ask did you talk to to your uh, Hindi, ang, ang, ang official ang official line that was given to me na ano, it was uh to dito. My brand of journalism is not aligned with the uh direction of the company, okay? Pero you know that's BS, 'di ba? Uh hindi ko na ikukuwento marami pang mar- nangyari diyan. No, no but but You know, so you so you said what brand? Would you tell me what? Because I, as I recall, you are, I mean, I enjoyed watching you because you were, you just were so frank and you were so so balanced. You you always gave both sides. So what what? Mm. Th- that's not a good brand. You being balanced and giving both sides. Uh, you siguro yung, yung, yung brand, it's better to ask uh, the, the CEO kung ano yung brand ng company niya, ng brand of journalism na gusto ng company niya. Pero I was told, hindi aligned yung brand of journalism ko. Eh, and sa akin naman, that's how journalism should be, di ba? Kung baga, no, no BSS allowed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, it's their loss. So no problem. Oh. Sa akin, anyway, okay yun, ma'am. Be- because honestly, mas nag enjoy ako dito sa format na to eh. I can be more myself. And uh, like I mentioned before in a previous episode, ang sarap ng feeling na liberation eh. Yung bang after ng isang episode, wala kang matatanggap na tawag after a few days, reklamo from <laughs> a friend of an executive. Yung ganun ba? Hindi ka yeah. malilecturan about, hindi ka malilecturan mistakenly about what objectivity is all about. Yun ang ano eh, yun ang hindi magandang nangyayari, di ba? You can understand if you were... You say, ano pa? You mean to say, Christian, somebody Coming... question objectivity? Sorry? You, you, you were questioned about your objectivity? Yeah. Oo, may mga ganun. Yung objectivity, yeah. nakailang lecture na ako dito sa program na to about objectivity. <laughs> <laughs> I I, yeah. I I would only wish na yung mga powers that be actually understood what objectivity was all about. Yun niya. Eh, kasi, yun niya eh, di ba? Alam niya yan, ma'am eh. Alam na alam niya yan dahil ano kayo eh. Uh, well, expert din kayo sa field na to eh. Oh. Being on so- in social media is such a liberating, as you say. Talagang liberating. Kasi, mm. you know, you, you work at your own time. I'm also going to copy you. I'm going to be also on what do you call it? But you, you know, you said like, this streamline, ano yun? Live Streamyard. Stream, streamyard.com. I had such a hard time. I had to tinawagaw pa yung anak ko. Sabi ko, walk through this. They can say. Actually walked me. I, we, were, we, were, we were talking on the phone and he actually walked me. And I finally got in. So when I learned this thing, I have to watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Ansa yako usap ni Maring Winnie, no? <laughs> kasi pinadala ko po link sa kanya Streamyard. Uh, ang Streamyard po kasi it works better pag Chrome yung browser. So minsan pag Safari nagkakaano, nagkakaroon ng problem. So yun yung daging issue ni Ma'am Winnie. Ano <laughs> oh, sige Ma'am, i-move ko na. <laughs> Natatawa ako kasi <laughs> <laughs> Marami anyway, natutuwa po sa interview natin eh kasi ano ang naging program daw natin ngayon uh, tonight with me with Winnie Winnie Monsod. 